in order to taste your tea. Your open-mindedness is cool, but it doesn't change anything. I don't believe in system, Mr. Longstreet, nor in method. Now, without system, without method, what's to teach? But you had to learn. You weren't born knowing how to take apart three men in a matter of seconds. True, but I found a cause of my ignorance. Well, help me find mine. Kick me in the stomach as hard as you can. Oh, wait a minute, I don't want to hurt you. I'm holding an air shield. Come on. Drive right through it, won't I? I'll risk it. <laughs> okay. Come here. Now put your hands in here. Now hold it against your side. Brace yourself. Now I want you to feel the difference when I put my body behind the kick. When I count to three, exhale strongly. I'll be kicking you. Okay. Can you stand behind me? Who's there? Who is that? It's me, baby. Oh. Just in time to pick up the pieces. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. You ready? Ready. One. A two. A three. Hi, hi. What did I tell you? That guy's fantastic. Pax, quiet, quiet now, boy. Quiet, quiet. He's a friend. Yeah, fantastic. Now, uh, what is this, uh, what is this thing you do? In Cantonese, Jeet Kun Do, the way of the intercepting fist. Intercepting fist, huh? Or foot. Come on, touch me. Any way you can. You see? To reach me, you must move to me. Your attack offers me an opportunity to intercept you. In this case, I'm using my longest weapon, my sidekick, against the nearest target, your kneecap. This can be compared to your left jab in boxing, except it's much more damaging. I see. Well, speaking of a left jab... Oh! This time, I intercept your emotional tenseness. You see, from your thought to your fist, how much time was lost. Not much. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's gonna teach me all this. I cannot teach you. Only help you to explore yourself. Nothing more. All right, all right. Come on, let's uh, let's explore some more of those kicks, huh? Hey, stick around, Duke. Let me pick up some pointers. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike, somebody just hijacked a consignment of pharmaceuticals, mostly vitamins and aspirin. A hundred thousand dollars worth. Why, right, somebody sure must have big a headache. headache. Yeah. I know, I know. From which pier? Six. What's his name again? Uh, Lee Chung. Lee. Sergeant Corey has a sketch for you to look at. It isn't anything you'd want to hang in your shop, but uh, whatever you can tear yourself away. All right. Okay, Mike. Uh, enjoy yourself. Okay, thanks. Uh, Nikki, would you walk me out, please? Sure. Uh, excuse me a minute, will you? Sure. Yes, operator, I'd like to make a uh, person called Mr. Mel Hansen, St. Paul. Did you call me back? What's gotten into him? These lessons? Mm-hmm. He wouldn't be knocking himself out like this unless he had something specific in mind. What he has in mind is not feeling so helpless the next time somebody starts working him over. There must be another way to make a living. Not for him. He's only trying to prove to himself that he can cope. Yes. You sure? Okay. May I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What happens now? The machinery closes in. We start living in his shoes. He goes somewhere we go. Only he doesn't know that if we're good. I think you are. So do we. Too rigid. Now listen to the beat and listen to my movement, okay? Relate to me now. Move, move. No, 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 no. Don't just move for the sake of moving. Relate to me. Relationship, relationship. No way. Well, adjust. Now open it up a little bit. Feel the wind blowing. Ah, the bird. You hear the bird chirping? Yes. Oh, very good. Now, 
let it flow. Open it up. Cake with it. Hold it! Ah, yes! Now, how did it feel to you? Like, I didn't kick, it kicked. Terrific! Now, once more. Now, wait, wait a minute, I, I gotta think. You have to think, you still do not understand. Now, wait, I did it, didn't I? You think a fight is one blow, one kick, until you can put combinations together without even thinking. Until you learn how to keep moving and to endure. Hire a bodyguard or lead a less aggressive life. Don't charge in blindly. You got to listen. Listen. Now, you don't hear the bird now, do you? No. Ha, if you don't hear the bird, you cannot hear your opponent. Where am I? There. No! Your thoughts are wrong. Look, I'm trying to learn how to fight, not how to think. May it be well with you, Mike. Wait, wait a minute, what are you doing? What are you doing? You quitting? Still in one piece? Progressing nicely. I have let him go. I'm certainly glad to hear that. We're running out of ice cubes around here. But uh, in terms of his learning anything, has he? His warehouse having burned down. Nothing obscure his view of the bright moon. I got you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, Lee, uh, sorry, I blew it yesterday. Can we pick up where we left off? It's, um, oh, it's a matter of survival now. I, I talked to Jim Bolt. You went to him? I tried to get him to blow his cool, but uh, so far it hasn't worked. Well, now I have to go down to the dock and fight him. You have a quarrelsome mind, Mr. Longstreet. Unless you learn how to calm it, you will never hear the world outside. Now you just tell me what I have to do to get you back. Nothing you can do. All right, then I'll just, uh, just have to fight him as is. Well, yeah, I want you to believe it's, uh, it's more than just learning how to defend myself. Well, there were a couple of times there when you were teaching me that I, uh, <laughs> I felt that my body and my head really were together. It's, uh, it's funny that out of a martial art, out of combat, I, uh, I'd feel something, something peaceful, something without hostility. Almost as though if I, well, if I knew Ji Kune Do, it'd be enough simply to know it, and by knowing it, never have to use it. Do you always know the right thing to say? Have I said it? Good. Keep it up. Sensitivity. That's it. <coughs> okay, thanks. Uh, excuse me, Natalie. Yeah. The city, not the saint. Huh. Well, it's too bad we could use the help. See if you can find Nikki, will you? All right. My eyes. Point to them. Thrust of them. What? Finger jab. No. Don't worry, I've covered them. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Because of your blindness? I just can't do it. Listen, the finger jab is a most effective attack. Well, let's just forget that attack, shall we? The man who beat you up that night, would he hesitate to gouge out your eyes? Look, that's his problem. A bird would, a cat would, without thinking. I'm not a bird, I'm not a cat, and I do think. That's your problem. All right, forget about the eye jab. Now, you can sense where my eyes are, right? Relax, relax. That's the eye flick. Psychic. All right, now listen to me. Listen to my movement, okay? Keep moving. Flick and go. Now, the two motions are both part of one motion. Now, you try it. Faster. A little bit smoother. Well, <clears throat> your head and body are still not one. Well, when will they get together? Once more! <clears throat> what is your instinct? To pray! In this position, your arms are useless. Yeah. Can you kick or stomp me? 
<coughs> no. Then, if you wish to survive, what do you do? I don't know. <coughs> Bite. Bite? Are we not animals? <coughs> <coughs> You all right? Mm. I can't find much evidence the contrary, Lee. Bite. Biting is efficient in close quarter. But don't make a plan of biting. That is a very good way to lose your teeth. There's so much to remember. If you try to remember, you will lose. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or creep or drip or crash. Be water, my friend. Yeah. Why don't I just stand in front of Bolt and recite that to him? Maybe he'll faint or drown. When is it? Tomorrow. You are not ready. I know. Like everyone else. You want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. May it be well with you, Mike. What kind of game are you playing, Mike? <laughs> uh, no, uh, no game. It was a car horn. It was constant. See, when the sound diminished, I uh, figured you were between me and the carriageway. And when, it, uh, when I got stronger, I figured you were leaving. Very good. I was surprised. <laughs> Not enough. You were relating very well, Mike. But you lost your awareness for a split second. Listening? And thinking. Your instincts are right. Sound, any sound is important. Mike, there's a call for you. Who? Oh. He won't say any sounds, very upset. All right, uh, be a minute, Lee. Hello? Yeah. What is it, Mike? <laughs> 